In 1961, Lester Piggott's wedding to Susan Armstrong was front page news. The 26-year-old jockey was the darling of the British racing industry, a phenomenal rider who won his first race at just 12 years of age. At 5 foot 8 inches, Pickett was unusually tall for a jockey and usually rode at 8 stone. Early in his career, his precocious talent and unorthodox riding habits brought him unwelcome attention from local stewards who suspended him several times, often unfairly. But as his wins mounted, Piggott reached the top of his profession, notching up no fewer than nine Epson derbies and a staggering 5,300 wins overall. With success came a certain insolence, and Piggott delighted in bucking authority, famously snatching a whip from a fellow jockey during a race at Deville after his own went flying. However, his disregard for the law came back to haunt him in 1987 when he was jailed for three years for tax fraud. Piggott, who was worth an estimated 20 million pounds at the time, was convicted of failing to declare more than three million pounds of riding and horse breeding income. The racing world was shocked at the sentence, which the judge said was necessary because of the scale of the evasion and the importance of sending a strong message to others who might have been tempted to do the same. Piggott served a year in jail before being released early for good behavior.